in this video, we are going to discuss about the definite integral. So before we proceed to our problem, I would like to introduce first the formula of definite integral. So we have here the integral of f of x dx with the upper limit b and the lower limit a. This a and b variable here represent as any constant number. So that could be equals to f b minus f a and also equals to f of x evaluated b and a. So and also we have the principles on how to integrate this definite integral. So we have here the integral of x to the n with b and a dx. So that could be equals to x to the n plus 1 in here represent as uh, a number of exponent attached in the variable x. So we put plus 1 it's just the same thing in the denominator copy the exponent n plus 1 evaluated b and a. This would be the next process b n to plus 1 and then over n plus 1 minus a to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So that could be the next process which is the integral of this function. So f of x evaluated from b and a. So always remember that in for our topic definite integral we don't need to put plus c at the last term because we have already the number of our constant we have already the specific value so it is very clear and now let's proceed to our problem our problem is we have the integral of x cubed plus 2x squared minus x over x and then dx with the upper limit 1 half and 1 fourth. This uh, upper and lower limit, uh, we uh, evaluated the x here after we find the, in the integral of this function. So what we are going to do is to simplify this function because uh, this can be simplified into the uh, linear function. So how? I will show you. So this is equals to the integral of one half and then one fourth here and then x cubed over x plus 2x squared over x and then minus x over x with dx so we can divide at x cubed over x so the integral and then one half one fourth so x cubed divide three uh, sorry x cubed divide x that could be x squared why because x cubed here is equals to x times x times x over x so x divide x that could be 1 and then so that's why we need to cancel this one so the remaining x is 2x x times x is x squared it's just the same for this and for this one so let's uh, move to x squared over x that could be plus 2x and then x divide x as 1 so dx so at this moment we can easy easily to find the integral of this function because we already done uh, for the simplification of this function into the linear function so what will be the next process we are going to find the integral of this function before we evaluate this one half and one fourth 
of this x here as you can see so what is the anti derivatives of x squared so according to the formula if we have x to the n and then the integral we have dx here so we put x to the n plus 1 and then n plus 1 so that could be the process on how to uh, integrate this definite integral so let's move so we have x squared here and then put plus 1 because 2 here the uh, represent of our n value so what is our exponent that would be our denominator so 2 plus 1 and then plus 2x we have here 1 and then put plus 1 it's just the same for the denominator so 2 uh, sorry 1 plus 1 and then what is the antiderivatives of a constant the antiderivatives of a constant is x So we don't need uh, to put plus c at the last term because we are in the definite integral. So we put at the last term as evaluated the one half and one fourth. But first we are going to simplify this one into the x two plus one is q three s x cube over three plus two x to the 2 over 2 minus x evaluated 1 and uh, 1 half and then 1 fourth. So this one can be simplified as x squared because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the integral of this function is the final is x cubed over 3 and then minus uh, plus x squared and then minus x evaluated one half and then one fourth so let's evaluate one half and one fourth for the process of of evaluating according to the formula so if we have the value of uh, the upper limit which is one half so the the upper limit uh, variable is b and the lower limit is a so we are going to b minus a so what is the value value of our uh, b that represent of our upper limit so one half so let's one half uh, evaluate this x here so that could be one half to the three over three and then plus let x evaluate uh, let one half evaluate this x so that could be uh, th plus one half and then to the power of two minus one half So, minus, what is the value of our lower limit? So, the value of our lower limit is 1 fourth. So, let's 1 fourth evaluate this x here. So, that could be 1 fourth to the power of 3 over 3 plus 1 fourth to the power of 2 and then minus 1 fourth. So, that could be. So, the next process is 1 to the 3 as 1. 2 to the 3 as 8. So, over 3. Plus, 1 to the 2 as 1 over 
2 to the 2 is 4. So, 1 fourth. We don't need to put uh, a 4 there. So, let's move minus 1 half. Minus 1 to the 3 as 1 because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So 4 to the 3, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Over 3 plus 1 to the 2 is 1. Over 4 to the 2 is 16 because 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 minus 1 fourth. So, what we will be the next process? Um, in order to easily uh, to get the the value of this uh, function here, the first function or the first term, as we are going to simplify this one uh, by uh, putting the or by getting the reciprocal of 3. So, we copy the numerator 1 at and then the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. So, we are going to multiply this one. So, 1 third. So, this would become multiplication because division is opposite of multiplication. So, plus copy the 1 third. Copy the 1 half. Minus, it's just the same uh, for this one. So, what is the reciprocal of 3? It's 1 third. So, copy the numerator 1 over 64. We are going to multiply this one. 1 third plus 1 over 16 minus 1 fourth. So, 1 times 1 is 1, 8 times 3 is 24. So, that could be 1 over 24 plus 1 fourth minus 1 half for the second function minus 1 times 1 is 1, 64 times 3 is 192. Plus 1 over 16 minus 1 fourth. So we are still uh, simplifying this function. So we are, uh, for me, we are going to, to find what is the least common denominator of 24. 4 and 2. So that could be for the first term. For the first term, term is the least common denominator of these three terms is 24. Why? Because 24 times 1 is 24. 4 um, times 6 is 24. Uh, and then 2 times 12 is 24. So that could be the least common denominator Denominator is 24. So we are going uh, to put 24 at the denominator. So 24 divide 24. That could be 1 times 1 is uh, 1. Plus 24 divide divide 4 is 6. And then 6 times 1 is 6 so 6 here I'm um, sorry so plus 6 plus 24 divided by 2 is 12 times 1 so my sorry minus so minus 12 minus 12 over 20 Four minus for the second term is 
uh, we are uh, finding what is the least common denominator of these three terms. So, that could be 192. Because 192 times 1 is 192. One and, uh, 16 times... Uh, we are going to divide that one. So, 192 divide uh, 16... Mm. that could be 12 so 16 divide divide 12 or sorry 16 times 12 is 192 and then 4 we're going to compute 192 divide 4 that could be 48 so 4 times 48 is 192 so that's why the least common denominator of these three terms is 192. So, 192 divide 192 is just 1. Times 1, so 1. 192 divide 16 is just... Uh, 2 divide 16 is 12. So we put plus 12 here and then 192 divide 4 is minus 48. So 192 divide 4 is 48. So correct. And now we are going to simplify this uh, with let's uh, put this 24 at the center so 1 plus 6 minus 12 that could be uh, 7 and then 1 plus 6 is 7 then and then minus 12 that could be um, 12 minus 7 is 5 so negative 5 over 24 so we are going to combine these terms after we simplify this uh, in the numerator. So 1 plus 12 is 13. So minus 48 that could be negative. Um, 13 minus 48 is negative 35. So that could be minus negative here 35 over 192 and now we are going to find what is the least common denominator of these two terms it's just the same for this function so the least common denominator of these two terms is equals to 192 because when Let's compute for that 192 divide 24 is at because uh, 192 times 1 as 192 24 times at is equals to 192 that's why the less common denominator is 192 so 192 um, 192 Sorry, for the least common denominator of this one is not uh, 192. So, um, how much? If we put here 8 or 4, 4. So, 24. So, um, sorry, for the least common denominator of 192 is uh, how much? 192, mm. um, I'm sorry, so 192 already is the least common denominator of these two terms, 24 and 192. 
because 192 times 1 is 192, 24 times 8 is 192. So that's why 192, uh, the value of our least common denominator. So let's uh, uh, move to the next process. So 192 divide 24, that could be 8. And then 8 times negative 5, that could be negative 40. And then minus 192 divided by 192 is 1 times negative 35. That could be negative 35. We need to simplify these uh, terms at the numerator. So negative times negative is positive. So that could be positive 35 and then negative 40 over 192. So, negative 40 plus 35, that could be uh, negative 5 over 192. And then, negative 5 over 192, or divide 192, that could be negative 5 over 192. And then, we don't need to put plus C because we are in... Uh, definite integral so f of x this could be the final answer of our problem which is the, the integral of x cubed plus 2x squared, squared minus x over x dx with 1 half and 1 fourth evaluated of this x so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the plans 57 cfd uh, channel